In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make an awesome pivot chart from an existing pivot table in Microsoft Excel. So, to do this, you first want to go into your pivot table, go to the pivot table analyze tab, and then you're going to want to click on pivot chart. And now clicking on pivot chart, you're going to see the normal graph menu that you would if you're just inserting a graph from normal data. Um, but, it, but if we go to one of these graphs, like a column chart, for example, click on OK for cluster your column as you can see it looks a little bit different why well that's because the data in this chart is directly influenced by what's in the pivot table which is awesome because we now we have a lot more flexibility than what we would in just a chart that's based on raw data so for example we can filter by the country um, we can click on the filter icon and click just France and Germany and now our pivot table and the graph shows just France and Germany we can do a similar thing for product type. So we can just click a couple of different product types. And now our pivot table and our graph only shows a couple different product types. But that said though, if we change our pivot table, that will also reflect in our chart. So for example, if we go to pivot table analyze and we throw in the year, that will also be shown in our pivot table. And if we adjust the way that things are calculated, so go to pivot table options, sorry. So for example, if we want to show like the average of revenue versus sum of revenue, we click on this right here, fill value settings, and we click on average. And as you can see, it's showing the average revenue, not the sum of the revenue, which is reflected in our chart. Now going back to making it the sum of the revenue, but one of the things that's really cool about this though is you have a lot of the formatting options that you might in have in a normal chart. So we click on the chart, we click on the plus icon, we get access titles, chart labels, data labels, data tables, error bars, and trend lines, what have you. We got to click the format tab and mess around with the different options that we have there. We can adjust the different fill. We can adjust the, adjust the different fills of the different bars if we want to do so. And just do what we might want to um, do to the, the, this pivot chart as you might wait in a normal graph, which is great because the data has a lot more flexibility than a chart based on raw data, but the, the formatting is also very flexible as well too. And if we want to, we can even take this to another level by inserting a slicer that will impact both the pivot table and the pivot chart. So hovering over the pivot table, we have pivot table analyze, and then we click on insert slicer based on what's being shown in the pivot table chart. So let's just call it say country, for example. Okay. Now we have a slicer where we can then select different things. And as you can see, as we select it, both the pivot table and the pivot chart will both be impacted, which is great if you're making a dashboard or, or something like, or if you're like making a dashboard, for example, and you want both pieces to be, and you want with like a summary table as well as a graph to be controlled based on a slicer. For example. Yeah, and that said from a formatting perspective, um, as I noted earlier, or a minute or two ago, there's a lot of flexibility in the formatting, but you're going to, for example, you can you can adjust different, you can apply different like quick formatting options if you want to. You can add chart elements. You can do a quick layout if you want to. I'm clicking random things. But one thing to note is that you, you, have the, you have the flexibility to do what you want it to do and really just make it work for whatever you are trying to present. As we can see now, we have this range of design um, revenue by country in some interesting colors. But that said, yeah, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.